yes, most of them are, are saying they are um, waiting. They will really wait for the recording. So I'm going to start off with you two so long, and then I'll just send off the recording. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to work with That's you. That's fine. Now. So I um the Nien, you can put your camera up as you want, or you can put it on. I can't even see you now. You can see me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen. So just make sure that you you do see my okay. screen. Obviously, I won't be able to see you. So if you are wanting to ask me something, or I'm going too fast, you must just um maybe say stop. Let's say well because I'm not gonna see that you raise your hand or anything. So just say stop, and I will stop. Um, whatever I'm busy with, and then um, hear your question. Is that fine? Yes. Okay. That's okay. fine with me. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start off with an old, well, not that old, it's about two years ago, um, so that you can just get a feel of how an internal exam looked like, okay, because that is what you are writing. You can see this is last year's. Um, so it, um, yeah, I think it's a good, it's a good start. Um, you can see that I was the moderator, so I know a little bit <laughs> enough to help you out of the, not into into the grave, out, <laughs> out of the grave. Okay, so basically, okay. the theoretical part of computer practice is a bit boring, if I can say that myself. So I'm going <laughs> to quickly, um, okay, the best way that I can help you is I, I'm going to share with you on the on the WhatsApp group. I'm going to share with you theoretical questions as well as memorandums. So um, I literally, that's the best way to do it. Basically. Okay. So I'm going to share quite a bit of that with you after this call. Um, but before I share any of that, let's just quickly look at an example. I know you've had some and you can ask me if you remember. Um, some of the questions I thought I had a copy, but I see I don't have a copy of the in four or even of the in five. So I thought I could go through that with you, but I'll see if I can find a copy of your practical and then also give you the answers on that. Okay. okay. I mean, the practical you just written in the week. Okay. So let's okay. look at question 1B. They say you must fill in the word there that is missing. So they say the what is the permanent memory of the computer? Now, a memory of a computer consists either out of RAM or ROM. ROM is your read-only memory and RAM is your random access memory. So ROM in the word ROM, read-only memory, that can actually tell you that that should be your permanent memory. Am I right? Do you understand it it's like that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you must stop me if you don't. Then the second okay. one is a very easy one. It says uh, is an electronic device. That's obviously a computer. Then they ask mm -hmm. what is used for the manipulation of figures. So that can be anything from a program, an application, etc. Okay. Then mm -hmm. one okay. four says. This open space are mobile phones that combine the functions of a PDA and a mobile phone. So that's basically um, your smartphones. Okay. And then I just quickly okay. want to talk about, I know the curriculum has changed a bit. I just quickly want to talk about okay. um, operating systems and the difference between software and hardware and operating systems. Because I, I know for my normal brain, I date a nerd. And for him, that is like a second language. For me, it's like I need to understand it in my language. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, to, to now explain to you in my, in my language what it is. So basically, a software is, for instance, everything that you can't touch on the computer, for instance, Microsoft is the software that we run on our Word, our Excel, our Access, etc. And then our hardware, um, I always explain to the students, it's hard. So it, you can touch it. That's all your, um, your peripherals, your, let's say, the printer, the, the, um, the mouse, the case in which the, the, all the CPU is in, the keyboard, etc. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, so that's that. And then, um, so they like asking you the following question. Sorry, I'm going to, while I talk this about this, and I'm going to uh, elaborate on, on extra stuff. For instance, um, they talk about input devices and output devices. Have you heard about that before? Output. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so input yeah. is everything. It's also a hardware. It's everything you put in information. Remember, a computer is like a man. That's you awesome. need to tell them what to do, okay? <laughs> and that is unfortunately how it is. So you have to tell this thing. It can't work on its own. So by means of the following, you can either, oh, sorry, I see there's somebody in the waiting room. Let's just quickly see who that is so that we can just um, admit him in there. Um, where am I now? Okay. Can you hear us? Who joined us now? Did somebody join us? I can't see a name. I I, okay, I see your 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 um you are on mute. I can't see your name because it's it's a one D one something something. So you don't have a name, but it's fine. Um, you can just maybe give an indication that you can hear us and that you can see my screen. Whoever just joined us. Okay, I'm carrying on. Maybe they are looking for their mic. Okay, so I'm busy explaining to you that um that you need to tell the computer what to do. How do we do that? We can either use our mouse, that is an input device. Remember, I'm using it to put in that, put, to put in information or to put in um, instructions. A keyboard also used in I uh, putting in the computer the instructions, either to type an article okay. or something. So are you with me with that? Yes. Then you have your output device. Yes, yes, yes. Like a printer, your screen will also be an output device, okay? A scanner will be an input device because you're putting it, the digital copy into the, into the computer via a scanner. Okay, just to come back to, to software, hardware, and operating system. Our operating system is something like Windows, and they like asking you what is a free type of um, operating system, then that answer would be Linux. Now I'm giving you a lot of information, but I'm going to, I'm going to give you all of this theoretically. Um, I'm going to send it as a PDF for you. So don't stress if you don't, can't make notes. Now you can just listen okay. now. So the operating okay. system okay. that, that uh, Samsung use is called Android. Now I know you know all of these terms, okay. but you not necessarily know that Android is called operating system. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you don't mm -hmm. understand yes. operating system, then you don't know, you may be heard of Android, but you don't know that the definition of Android is that it's an operating system. So that's what I'm trying to tell you now. Then mm -hmm. they love okay. asking this question at 1.5. The CPU is the central processing unit. Now, basically what the CPU is, um, it's the heart and the brain of the computer. And that's what they are looking for in the missing point there. They say it's considered as the heart or the brain of the computer. Because okay. without our brains and our hearts, we cannot function. And that's exactly with the computer. He needs the CPU. The CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. Okay, and you, what basically consists of the process is your input, like I've just explained. Let's say, for instance, I'm an architect and I'm designing a building plan. I will design the building plan by using my light pen or my fancy computer by putting it in with a keyboard or either the mouse, that's the input. Then it will be um, processed by the computer on the program that I'm using the designing program, and I will then print it. And this is also a very important theoretical question they like to ask on a plotter printer. Have you heard about a plotter printer before? No. Okay, I'm just going to explain this to you. Sometimes when you travel to Europe, you will, um, you will see that they are busy restoring buildings. But it's actually very interesting. What they do is all these cathedrals oh. and stuff. 
They don't want it to be scaffoldings. They don't want the ladders to stand there and it looks ugly. They still want the people, that's the tourists, who comes there, see how it would have looked like if they weren't busy restoring the place. If you understand what I'm trying to explain now. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that, uh, that printout, that huge colored printouts that they're making, for instance, to do those, back, uh, basically the backdrop of the buildings is done on a plotter um, printer. So just that you know that. So that would be the output device, just to come back to the CPU. Okay, so that CPU and plotter, then they also sometimes while we're busy explaining that they like asking what is a example of an impact printer okay so a laser printer is not an oh, impact wow. printer okay because it mm -hmm. obviously uses laser okay. to print okay a dot might okay. printer we don't really work with that but i don't know how old you are but uh, back in the day we literally could hear the it looked it, it sounded like a like a um a tick machine you know like a typing machine so when okay. it, it went like da -da 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 yes so yes it, yes literally doing the, the yes the yes as um with with impact if i can explain it like that so that's a dot matrix and then you get your laser printer or your inkjet printer um, and then just also take note that a laser printer works with toner and an inkjet obviously works with ink. You will see when you when you maybe at work and you remove the, the toner, if it's a laser, it is a very, very soft powder. It's actually, it, oof, I've been in, a, in horror places before because I had a white thing on and it's like black everywhere. You can't get it out. So it doesn't work with ink. So you will also see the main advantage between a laser printer and, a, and the inkjet is that the ink will dry very quickly in comparison to the, to the inkjet. Okay, we don't really work with dot matrix, but for some odd reason, they like asking you that. And they also like asking the daisy wheel printer. The daisy wheel printer is a printer that cannot print images. In other words, digital um, objects, you know, like pictures. Okay, are you good with that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then, I'm good with that one. <laughs> okay, the what includes all devices attached to the CBU or the motherboard? So they are asking you what includes all devices attached. Now, if you look at, um, if you can think now of a picture of, let's say you're in the computer class that you were this morning, there was a case next to you. And everything was connected via a cable, either your mouse or even your, um, your screen, your monitor was connected via a cable. That we call uh, um, peripherals. So they say peripherals is all the devices. So it's almost like hardware. Peripherals is almost a synonym to hardware. Okay? So that's okay. 1.6. 1.7 a what is a pointing device which is used to click at a specific option or position on the screen? That will obviously be a mouse. And that's mm -hmm. also then an input. A mouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then um, okay. they want a synonym okay. for software. Now, software, I actually don't like that because I sometimes say then the peripherals is also the software. But software can be something like application. Application is also a software because... It, it um, basically controls, it operates, like I explained now. I don't know if you've realized if you had that Hawaii phone, I don't know how to pronounce, but do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. The, the, they obviously, you know the whole news thing. You can't download Microsoft Teams now because all of that is supported by Android. So they basically, it's a whole... Oh, I heard about that. Yes, yeah, so that's because... Um, that you need the operating system of Android, if that makes sense to you. Okay. Remember, Apple now works yes. on the iOS of Apple. Okay, just to get that okay. in out of the way. I will send you the answers after this with as well, but I just need, want you okay, to Okay, thank a, you very much. Yes, I just want you to have a, at least, I like to explain my questions as well. Okay, 1.9 is fine. A what is a collection of related information saved on a diskette or a hard drive of the computer? 
Now, we don't really work with diskettes anymore. We work with a flash drive or a USB or an external uh, hardware. Yes. You all comfortable with those definitions? Yes. Yes. So we call that a backup. Okay, a backup is a collection. You know, you sometimes say, oh, you know, I'm so scared I'm going to lose my information. I need to back yes. up. So that is the, yes. um, yeah. And then what are identical copies of important files to prevent data loss? Um, oh, Gona, it seems like 1.10 is the backup. I wonder what, what they thought, uh, what is a collection of related information saved on the desk or hard drive on the, uh, of the computer? Hmm. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, number, <laughs> number 10 is backup. Sorry about that. I okay. The hard drive. I'm actually glad I'm making this mistake so I can explain to you. The hard drive is basically your C drive. Okay. So if I can just quickly yes. show you the example there. If I go into now, sorry, my computer is a lot of stuff is going on. Yeah. But if you go into this PC and I say, for instance, click on that, then can you see there that C drive is basically my hard drive, okay? And that is what they are talking about now. If we go back to the question paper, they say, oh, what is a collection of related information saved on a disk or the hard drive? So basically, that is your, your instructions that's needed to run this computer. Remember the moment? that you turn on that computer. It needs to go through a couple of um, what we call basically the program. Okay, so a program is a collection of related information. I'll give you all of this um, upon finishing of this. Okay, this is um, also not a very nice question. I hope you don't get this. I'm going to send you um, the the examples or actually the theoretical parts of this i don't want to spend too much time boring you on this and then you can read through it okay um just okay. quickly um because it's really not difficult it's just it's like um i always say it's not difficult to become a doctor you just sit on your bum and you study you know so it's the same with this theoretical <laughs> part you just have to now, unfortunately, sit and study. But if there's something that you don't get, please don't hesitate. You can privately message me and then we can go from there. But from now, okay. I'm going to carry over. Is there anything that you remember that was done or asked of you in the class theoretically, except now print screens, which I'm going to show you now, that you are unsure of? No. No, not It's just me. that... Um, not really. I, I think my problem is um, MS Word, okay. um, that stuff that I need, okay. to, and also Excel. Okay, okay. We're going to go through that now. I think with the theory part is, I just gave you a little bit of background, but I think the I think what I'm going mm -hmm. to do is I'm going to send you theoretical papers, and then I want you to work it yes, out. Yes, that would be and great. I, yes, and then I'll send you um, the memo as well so that you'll have that, but then you can still ask okay. me. Okay, quickly tell me, had your practical okay. either or your test have any print screens in them? Uh, I think, yes, on the on, 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 on the test there was where you need to, where you need to print the screen. Yeah. Um, that you've done. So if okay. you've, um, there was one where you need to, maybe you need to put the one fold in the other folder, then you need to make a print screen. I think it's control and shift and yeah. print screen. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to do that. Um, because I'm going to show you an example of what I, what I like asking you. Okay, so if you look at question three, it, can you read that? It says, display the status report of the yes. computer practice in four. Now, you will receive the, sorry, it's going, it won't look like this. You will have an exam drive. I saved mine now on the desktop. Sorry, I'm just looking for my desktop now. And. Um, no, it's fine. Yes. Okay. And so that is the one. Can you see? So you need to display the status of the um of so you're gonna right click 
So what I did is I right clicked on the folder and that screen that you see there in front of you, that is the status that they want. Okay? So they like okay. asking that. So it's literally right click and you will then go to properties and that will you be your print screen. Now, the shortcut that you've just said now, shift control print screen, or sometimes it depends on in which computer room you write, because that's actually very important that I tell you that, because some keyboards have a print screen on the on its own. It doesn't have to. Yes. Yes. Okay. So just take note of that. Um, I'm just quickly going to show you I have print screened that one 3.1. So I'm just going to open up a new document to show okay. you. Okay. I like using control V. Um, control V is the shortcut for paste, ne? but I'm sure, you, okay. I'm sure you know that. Um, okay, so you don't have to do this. Your, yours will look nice from the start. It's just my background is a bit the car. Okay, but this is very important. <laughs> I'm going to take you to the memorandum now because I want to show you what they want. This is what you're getting marks for. Remember, the internal is still okay because you've got a lecturer that um, that is marking your paper. Okay, you are unfortunately also not really known to the lecturers, but um, you know, uh, external, you're just an examination number. That's all that you are. Okay, so um, okay, you're wow, that it, it is what it is, eh? <laughs> so, so, and then they, that's that's when you're losing the points because is, if they don't see there, yes, they then want it's exactly. So it's so important when I teach my grade 12s as well true. and my students, you need to take them from a very young age, even from grade 10 and 8 and the same with the students. You need to prepare them for the final exams. You understand what I'm saying? Because okay. they have a specific I one. do understand. Okay, so this is what I'm going to explain to you now. When you're doing screenshot, they're not going to ask you this. Did you see in the question paper? They didn't say, um, okay, there they said insert the examination left and in the header and then print it. But it's important. They don't always say that in the external. They, they are kind of telling you it's an unwritten rule. You must know that, okay? So basically, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to enter your exam number and question 3.1 as the header. And they, I think they said it must be right aligned. Okay. So now this, yes. this, this is the first part you need to get right with print screen. So you're going to insert. You're going to go to your toolbar. You're going to say insert. You're going to say header. Okay. You're going to delete that. And you're going to either use your tab one, two, three, or you can go to home and choose the right alignment. Then you're going to say your examination number. Remember, you won't have an examination number in the internal. Then you will use your ID. Okay. So I'm just going to say the okay. exam number. Please don't type out the words exam. Now I say word exam number. In You're going to use a number 19650, etc. Okay. And I okay. want question a two as well. So you got a mark for inserting it into the header as well as okay. also um, putting it right aligned. Now, this is the important part that I need to tell you. Each print screen must be on a new page. Okay. Now, okay. if I put in a new page here, then can you see my header is going to be the same? Now, I'm not going to take time now to, to explain to you sections because that is just going to, it's going to make you very confused. So there is a way of changing the header so that it won't be displayed as the previous one. But the best way, and I, you, will, you will understand, you will get to, get to know me hopefully very fast in this next week. You will see that I like learning shortcuts to my students. Okay, shortcuts in the sense of okay. um, don't make it more difficult than it is. Okay, so what am I trying okay. to say is there is a there's a nice way of doing this. Do this one print screen and print it. Okay, go to file, uh, 
Yes. And print it. I don't care if your teacher says she needs to run to the printer five times uh, in one second. Uh, she's got to <laughs> can get her, get her um, steps in a day. This... Please don't, don't go there. So can you see why I'm saying this? Because now we're done with this. Okay, I'm going to delete. Mm. Then you go back. Now, don't, you can now obviously don't delete before you receive yours. Please don't do that. First, receive the 3.1, mm. then delete that print screen. Okay? Then go back to the, to the second question. You're going to probably get print screens as well. It says... You must display all the files oh. and folders in the N4 folder, okay? So we're going to okay. go back to, to that one. They want to know what's inside this thing. So you're going to double click. That is what okay. they want to see. Can you see? They want to see those folders inside the computer practice. So again, you're going to print screen either with control, shift, and print screen, or you're going to just print... Um, uh, Press print screen. Then remember, this was now 3.2. Okay? So you're going to delete that one, put the two in, yes. it stays the same. You print this one, Bob's your uncle, you go to 3.3, .3, you do the same. Are you with me, darlings? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, so yes, you, yes. Okay, so are you comfortable with the print screens? Will you be able to do yes. that? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I, I will be able to do that. And the rest? Chase, change. Uh... The time of the computer. Okay. Now you won't be able to, to, to change that because you are not the administrator. Okay? Okay. But I'm going to show you um, where to find, change the time on your computer. You won't be able to change it, but this is what you do when you you are asked to change the time of the computer as um as as what's asked at 3.12 pm okay so you will go to your start option there in the corner and then you will go to the settings can you see okay okay and then you will i don't go... see anything can you not see anything uh -oh. only the question paper sorry my scott only the question paper. Well, honey. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe it's because it's the setting of my computer. Um, okay, I'm going to reshare quickly. Can you see me now? Yeah, okay. yeah I can so see you. I went into start and I said settings. Yes. And I went into settings. Yes. You still see me? Yeah. And then can you see yes. it says their time and language? Yes. You will go there. Yes. That is the print screen that you do. Okay. Because you can't change okay. that. I have to give you your marks because that there is where you so in his honest with the loud off one. Okay. I'm just asking my for my nerd partner is here next to me and he is a very he's a very high up. Um he's always busy with the external paper. So I just ask him a few tips quickly for you. Okay. Oh my <laughs> so you're in good hands between me and him. Anyway, okay. So 3.3 .3, um is what I just showed you. Will you be able to do that? Yes. Okay. Can you create yes, a, yes. can you create a folder or are you struggling with that? Can I quickly show you? No. Yes. Okay. I also I do know, but you can show that's fine. There's not so, a problem. So they want obviously Siemens is also a brand of, 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 of um phones. So you will go right click and you will say new and you will say folder. And you will just um, Older, yeah. backspace and you will say Siemens, okay? And then mm -hmm. let's say yes. you will ask to rename. I think that is the other question they are asking you. Rename the folder to LG. Then you will go back to that the one. LG, yes. Yes, then you will go back to that one. Also, um, right click. Like you I did now. Click and but rename. Then, yes, exactly. And rename. And you say LG. Just make sure. Okay. Capital letters. 
just make sure that that it is now okay. done okay for some odd reason they said i'm not the administrator yes. but okay it will not happen to you okay so that's how you do that okay. <laughs> are you still on board with me yes yes okay i'm i'm not sure if everybody it feels like you should be four but i can only have two voices so i'm just going to carry on and send the recording afterwards okay so with the word processing is yes. i think where you kind of struggled okay so let's quickly look at an example of what's what's going to happen they're going to ask you to either open up something that's already keyed in for you in other words it's going to be a document that you're going to retrieve from your folder Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, in this question, yes. I remember, they ask you to key in the text as indicated below. Okay, now I, this is obviously going to be um, on a hot copy, so you won't be able to do what I'm doing now. Okay. Okay, so I'm copying and pasting. Okay. Okay, but for the sake of now not going in between two spaces, I am going to, to leave it on this on this for now okay and i'm going to show you how to edit it on here but obviously yours is going to be now on a new page you're going to obviously type it in somewhere here okay that's not going to be in there let me rather okay like this i'll rather do it like this okay so <laughs> i don't have to print it out virgin but we're not virgin version sorry but what I, <laughs> on, I have a printer so i'm just quickly gonna print um print this just give me five seconds then i don't have to go no it's fine you know switch from 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 that to the other end are you all comfortable with yes. manuscript signs no <laughs> no to... not uh, uh no but no. Uh, yes but the teacher um did give us that she did give us that where we uh, where we need to know what the symbols is, and she but, did tell us that we need to be we need to um, um, we need to know that. Okay. So when we are in the exams, we need to we need to know what the symbols is for when we're doing a, a on MS Word. Okay, but did she give? No, she gave it today. But did, yes. did she give you a print a print a copy? Yes. Yes. She did give us a copy and also in the books that in the computer practice yeah. book, there is um, that okay. part also in. Yes, I know. But I think it's also good to go through an example because I've seen sometimes, even if you know that off by heart, you get this mm. paper and you think, oh my goodness, what, what, what happened here? Okay. So let's, I'm going to try to explain that for you. And I think it's actually nice that we have this recording because you can go on your own time back again on that. Yes. Okay. So like I said, unfortunately, you, are, you won't be able to copy and paste because um, it will not be on a digital file for you. You'll unfortunately mm. have it. Yes. Okay. So the first oh, question there, okay. I'm going to switch now in between the questions so that you can see the questions. It's like fine. I I will also obviously send you this. It says okay. key in. Okay, we've done that, but we need to choose okay. the, the um, courier new 12 point. Okay, so I'm going to okay. go back to that. Now, as you can see, the default is courier new 12 point, but let's okay. say you want all of this now to become that. Then you press Control I on your keyboard. That's a, a, a shortcut to just select all of the text and let's say okay. it wasn't let's say they wanted to be aerial then i would have gone there okay but now for now they wanted okay. to be courier and 12 that is where you're going to change that. okay okay i just quickly while we're busy with this just want you to be comfortable with the ribbon okay okay now remember you get different um versions of word like 2013 and 16 i think the college yes. is on 2013 now it is there is a difference between the two obviously you need to now monkey branch you can't go back in time you need to go forward but the basics stay the same so don't don't feel um you're in havoc when it's now different it will be the same you still find the home ribbon, etc. Um, 
when you are busy with the word, but I will get to that now as we go along. Okay, so that was the first question. The second question is, insert a question 4A in capital letters, left aligned, and the examination right aligned as the header. You must please make sure you read your questions correctly. First of all, make sure you are left when it's left and right when it's right. And when it's uh -huh. and when it says header, then put it in the header. Don't go and put it in the footer. Do you understand the difference? I understand. Okay. Where do I find header? I find it under my insert. Insert. And you will go to header. There we will header. find footer. So I'm going in yes. header. I sort of choose the first one. I always choose the first one and then I custom it for my own needs. Please just okay. read that. That type there is... It shouldn't be there. You just highlight it and you press the lead or backspace. It shouldn't be there. Okay. Then they ask for your question to be left aligned. Now, how am mm. I going to go from left all the way to right? Because if I now go to home and I do this, then it takes my question for there and it shouldn't happen. So when you're uh. there, you use the tab key on your keyboard. Okay. You know yes. where the tab key is? It's just above the caps lock. Okay? Yes, that's correct. I, I think they said that your examination number must now be right aligned. So I'm just going to say again, exam number. Remember now, this is your number. Your 86. Okay. Normally, you don't have an exam number. Normally, you have your ID. Please just know it. Okay. Or what will have your your ID will be there because you're writing with your ID. Okay. Use your left and right hand margins of 2.5. Now, margins is found under layout. Can you see yes. now we were in the home ribbon, we were in the insert ribbon, yes. now we're in the page layout. Your margin yes. should be, can you see, there is the one that I are looking for, 2.5 all around. So you choose that one. Yes. Let's say there wasn't one already set up like that. They are asking you to set the margins at a specific one. Then you go to okay. custom yes. margin and you yes. go and click the amount. They will say make it top or right, and you will literally just go and type that in. Please okay. take note, in Word, everything is already calibrated in centimeters. What does that mean? It means that if you delete that whole thing, you don't have to go and say 2.54 and then type centimeters. You can just say that and say, okay, and Bob's your uncle, because it's already calibrated in the unit. Are you un do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, the number four that I asking you there is text must be left aligned and single line spacing except where um, otherwise um, indicated. Okay. Now we're still busy with this. You make sure that this thing is left aligned. Okay. It is left aligned. Let's say that I want it to be justified. Can you see the difference? Okay. Look here quickly. Left yes. Aligned. And right, I can justify it. Justified is normally oh. when you have columns or when you are writing a newspaper. Can you see it's very neat? Okay. Yes. So can you see the difference? Yes. I can see the difference, okay. yes. So they want right aligned and they want all of that to be single space. Now you can either use your quick toolbar and make it 1.0. Now, very important, you need to understand they sometimes ask you as part of the manuscript sign to be the spacing must be 1.0. 1.0 is single. Single is 1.0. They're sometimes very nasty. And they say, make it double because you are used to double. But then sometimes they say, make it 2.0. Then you don't know what they're talking about. But it is actually double. But you are more familiar to go into that paragraph settings. And you go into your line spacing. Can you see there you don't have the option of one and two. So then you need to yes. know that 1.0 is single and 2.0 is double. There you will also find multiple okay. spacing as well as 1.5. They ask for it to be single. So that's all I'm going to do. 
Okay, or you can choose, you will see there, it will be on one now. Can you see it's connected there? It's locked. Okay. Yes. Now they say that was that was the last one. Okay, on, on the question paper, they say you must save this. Now, this is very important that you do this because it's like Lego. You are building a Lego house. This is your first block. You created that block. If you didn't create it, then you're not going to be able to do question 4.B. You'll understand shortly what I'm trying to say. Okay? okay. So you got to save okay. file, save as. Um, I'm just going to do it in my um, uh, in my desk or in my desktop. And then they said you must save it as your, please um, use the correct one. Um, and they said one. Okay, I'm just going to save it in there. Okay, it's safe. Now, when we go back to the question paper, we say here yeah, at 34.3, it says retrieve that. Now, sometimes I say, well, Gona, Jeffrey, we, I don't have that. Yo, you just created mm. it. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna, <laughs> now, please don't, yeah. So please don't go and now it's already open. So I'm just going to work from there. Okay. They want you okay. to, to change the, um, the number there to be that listen this is this is so nice for me to do this with you because the format of the question paper is always the same do you understand what i'm saying it's it's literally the yes. same questions over and over again it's just different text okay 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 now, okay this is where you need to i always told my students um i also used to be a, a lecturer there at the college um, I always uh, taught my CP students that they need to take a highlighter or a pencil if you don't have one and go be, okay. and go to your question paper and go to your manuscript sign. Let me quickly show you what I'm trying to say. Can you see? Yeah. Is a question mm. paper. This is a question paper, but this is also questions. But can you see mm. that, that not all of the instructions here? Oh, yeah. I don't know why yes. it's like that, but you need to understand that. So let's say, for instance, I always tell my students, start off with the written ones. Go from one, two, three, four, and then go to the manuscript signs. And when you have yes. done that, you go to the manuscript sign and make a little tick with your with you, I'm going to now put a digital, if they let me put a digital one there, I'm going to put a digital symbol that says, yes, I've done that one. Do it on your question paper, because believe me, I've, I've done this a couple of years ago, just to make sure that I know what's going on. I did the whole CP course, just so much for the sake of it. And I was a student as well. And I remember you just, you will see now what I'm, what I'm saying. You will, you will skip a step. Okay. Can I just can I just tell you something, Miss uh, Miss Van der Merwe? Yes. Um, that's what that's what happened to me today. I was also yes. like going through the questions and doing the the, the 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 manuscript, and then I saw somebody else that was sitting next to me was doing it. She was doing it from from mm -hmm. from the questions, yes. and then as she goes off, mm -hmm. um, she's 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 just marking it. She's mm -hmm. she's done that. So mm. that's what I did today. I first started with the questions at the mm. front and mm. do that. And then after that, then I went to the manuscript to, to just see, did I do this correct? And because it shows you on the manuscript, it shows mm. page break and mm. what you need to highlight and all that stuff. So I did that today. Yes, excellent. So I'm and it was a little bit, it, it was a little bit, then I went a little bit faster through it then also. Yeah, yeah, and you, you sure you, I've, I, I know it happened to me with one um, exam, I missed, somebody was talking about it, and I missed mm. it, because it was, yeah, look here, yeah. if you see here, it says, insert the footer, can you see it's not here in the manuscript signs, so you need to, I saw that, both, mm. okay, so we already said, uh, we've done the left hand margin, but I just quickly want to show you how to do that, because, um, just for a vision, I did show you now. So that question said you must change only the left-hand margin. So you're going to go remember margins are under layout. And we're going to go mm -hmm. to margins and say custom because there's not such one that only gives me the left one. 
okay? Uh, then you only go to the left one. Remember, you delete uh, the whole thing. Don't try to now be go up and down with that. Uh -uh. Delete the whole thing, put in 3.81, okay? If you okay. don't want to type okay. the full stop, then just try to do a comma. It shouldn't be calibrated in decimals, but sometimes okay. you have a lucky customer and you sit at, I know, in the one room C12, takes commas, but your lecturer is supposed to you invigilating as is um, supposed to tell you, but just remember, take a note of that, okay? And then just say, okay, yes. you see the left, the left margin is now changed, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. so that was number four. Are you all with me still? Yes, yes. I'm still with you. you. One of you should just stay with me until the end so that we can record this thing. No, <laughs> we are, I'm gonna stay with you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, then we need to say insert, um, the footer smartphones, South Africa, um, uh, cafeterias and books. Okay, so I suppose that should all be, that should actually be in inverted commas because it's not well said, but with that said, I was the moderator, so I should have picked that up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put in, remember, insert footer. Okay? Mm -hmm. It told me that the footer must be um in the center yes um and it must be in capital letters and bold so i'm just going to choose again yes. the first one remember first that one. you read that you can use your tab if there's only one um one text at the bottom then you can use that but if there's more than one then be careful with that because it's changed then they say that they want all of it to be capital letters now let's say i've typed that in and I said, well, Hona. now I see it must actually be more. capital letters. Now, I'm not going to read that. You're going to go no. there and you're going to say, yeah, upper case, upper okay. yes. And then, yes, you thank you. Yes. Hello? Is somebody? Yes, here? yes. No, no, no. I'm just saying yes. I also okay. learned that today about the upper case. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that's it. That is what you need to do at number four. Let's go quickly to number six. Listen, if my call drops, it's just because we're on for an hour, then I'm just going to just rejoin again, okay? Okay. If it does happen, I'm, I'm sure it won't, but I'm just saying sometimes it happens with Zoom. Okay, now, number five, and I will ask you this definitely. Find and replace the words SA with South Africa. Okay, now find and replace works like this. Um, okay, let's go back to my one. You need to go first of all with find and replace. Make sure your cursor is at the top there because otherwise mm -hmm. your thing is not going to do its search correctly. Don't highlight, mm -hmm. just make sure your cursor, your mouse starts there, okay? Then you go to home ribbon, if you're not already in it, and you go to replace. You don't go to find already, even if the question says find. You're not finding, mm -hmm. you're replacing it. Okay, they okay. Say you must find what? Whatever you find must be typed in exactly as it is. If it's capital letters, it must be capital letters. If it's small caps, it must be small caps. Remember, this computer is looking for exactly that, okay? Mm. It's smart, but it's not that smart, okay? And then you must also now replace it with what? Now, students... That exactly like, oh, you know, sorry, exactly with what they are asking you to replace it with. They are asking you to replace it with the word South Africa, two words, like it says on the question paper. Let me just quickly take you back to the question paper so that you can also see they are asking you that. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, what must you do? How must you now go and, um, and change this? They sign up, please make sure that when you do the editing, that your cursor didn't by mistake stay there. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. Sure? Okay. So 
your cursor mustn't be there when you are doing your font. Remember, I asked you for your okay. papers and bold. Make sure, mm. make sure that it is there because if it's there, it's going to do the editing there. Then it's not going to find, it's going to say it makes zero replacements. Make sure okay. you are doing it on that word. And by making sure it's on that word that you're doing it, make sure your cursor is flickering in the replace with. They said it must be bold and centered. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, bold. Only bold and capital. Yes. You will have yes. to go to more to see more options. Now, remember capital okay. letters and bold are font. Now, luckily, you know, okay. you're in grade 12. Otherwise, you had to do much more. But you only have to do font. Okay? Okay. Yes. Now, if I ask for a Okay, you don't want to ask color because you print. But please take note that all caps is the similar or the synonym for uppercase. Okay? But okay. there's not an uppercase there. Small caps is the synonym for the lowercase. But remember when you're working there by home. Remember I showed you now. Then the options there were when we changed the footer to uppercase. They didn't say all caps. So you must mm. know this. They don't teach you this. They think you must know this. But how would you know this? So I'm telling you this now. Okay. They also like asking you to replace and find something and make it bold and italic together. Now, there is mm. no way you can do it other than choosing that option, bold, italic. Okay. okay. There's not an option like that in home. You can choose no, both. Not. You can do it both separately, yes, but not like yeah. that. Okay, but for this, they just ask bold. If they oh. ask for a different font, you would have chosen it there. If they ask for mm. the underlined, you would have done it there. Okay? Okay. And, um, yeah, that's basically what all that, that you, they ask you to do. The color won't be applicable because you can't print in color. Okay, so you're going to say, okay. And maybe the size? No, they, yes, I can ask you, but in this case, they did not. But I'll just show you the first. Yes. yes, then the size will be there. Mm. Okay. So then just okay. take the place all, but don't be so fast just to cancel. See what they what they've said to you. If they only say one or zero, then you must go and check that. Can you see? There you can see. There you can see what is your formatting options. If there's anything standing there under that line, it shouldn't be there. Let's say for by um you did it by accident. It has happened to me before. Then you must first click no formatting so that it will delete everything and then start over again. You have to click no formatting. Mm. There is no formatting on South Africa. That's why the thing is gray. But there I can take mm. it off. If I made a mistake, there's no other way of making it right except going in and now ticking it off. Okay. Okay. Now, it seems like I've lost my document. I don't know why I've lost it. Maybe I've by accident. Oh. No, 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 it's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I think I minimized it because I saw it now, now already. But I saw I did it on the paper, which is okay. Can you see all the essays have been replaced now by South Africa? Can you see that? Yes, I, okay. I do see that. Okay. Um, now they um, want you to, what was the other one? Okay, find that in the place and the text must be left aligned and in single line spacing except where, okay. So again, you need to now actually want my, I want my document, man. I can't work on this. Okay, let me just quickly see. I, I've saved it on my desktop. Um, I saved it as a smartphone, small snake. Yes. You can see it. There it is. Okay, now I think I, I think I've just by accident. So let's quickly revise Summer. I go to home. Okay, let me just show you what I've meant earlier. Can you see there's no stuff like that? They like asking you this, eh? Quickly look here because it's not in your book. 
sometimes when they say change this whole word into that it's the first one must be a uh, small caps and the rest it's called tockle case then you choose okay. it, you choose it there okay okay I'm just showing you okay so replace what am I changing there? They've already done it for me. Okay. And Bob's your uncle. Nine replacements. Okay. That shouldn't be. <laughs> okay. Let's go further on now. I'm taking you to the, through the manuscript signs. Okay. Now, can you see? Okay. We have ticked off all the question papers. We have done the find and replace. Okay. We have done this. We haven't done the single spicing. Let's just make sure it is single spicing. Yes, it is. Oh, we have done that. The find and replace will never be on your manuscript. You won't be able to see the find and replace. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, yes. yes. Find and replace will be yes. So can you see if you don't do both, you're going to miss out on a few more. Uh, okay. That's true. Okay. That's true. So let's quickly look here. It says you must copy the heading to the end of the document. So what you're literally going to do is I'm going to somehow edit it from here now. I'm going to take that, okay? I'm going to right click and say cut, okay? okay. Yeah, now I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad I did that. Can you see they say copy? They say copy. Yes. They don't say cut. Sometimes okay. when they say move, move means cut. Take it that you yeah. don't want, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Copy means copy. So you can't type delete that whole thing. You must right click and say copy, or you can use your um, shortcut. Your shortcut for copy is control C on your keyboard. Yes. Control C. Yes. The end of the document is here. Okay, that marks will obviously not be there in yours. Okay. And um, let me just make it right now. Okay, and then paste. Okay, there's now obviously you see the margins isn't lacquer there, but I'll just paste it then to uh -huh. my smartphone so that you're not confused. Okay, so you must then just paste it there. Can you see now this is not supposed to happen, but it will probably happen to you as well. Then use your tab just one time. Okay. Put it in line. To yeah. get it in line. Don't go and do that. I have done computers for many years and I don't even use that ruler. So don't, don't, don't go and do use it. Use tab. <laughs> okay. Except if you're okay. very good, then do it. Okay. Darlings, then we are back at the question paper with I'm um, talking about the manuscript signs. The next one. So tick that. We've done that. We've yes. done that. It's I'm somehow gonna delete it. Okay, it's done. We've moved it. We've cop not moved copy. That now, this is, copy always, this is always a funny thing for me because it says 1.5 spacing, but that thing should be a bit bigger because it includes, looks like it includes that whole thing. Can you see? Uh, so make yes. sure you see where it stops and where it's where it stops. Yeah. Okay? So they want that whole thing to be um, 1.5 so i'm gonna remember 1.5 you can either do it there or you can go into paragraph and change it there okay so that is done so you can mark it off by your manuscript signs remember okay. they, can, they can also tell you there to make it 1.0 then it's single yes. or they can ask you to make it 2.0 then it's double are you with me darlings yes yes yes, yes. Okay. Then they ask you to indent both margins by two centimeter and you must justify it. Please make sure you read all the words. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Yes. I think it was this paragraph. I'm not sure now, but it doesn't matter now. I just want to show you the method. So what, okay. where am I going to find that? I'm going to go to my paragraph settings. I'm going to choose that little block there. I'm going to say I want the left indentation to be two. Remember, it's already calibrated, so I'm just putting in two, as well as the right. So can you see that is how they want it? But they want to justify, so they want the newspaper look. Can you see? Okay. 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 It is going to look funny now because 
remember you've put a left margin in there so it's bigger on this yeah. side than on that side so if you've done exactly what i've asked you to do on the question paper don't hesitate don't feel like yeah you haven't done this is also something they love to ask okay by the way i've deleted those two because i wanted to copy it but there was two of these signs there as well i don't know if you remember yes okay. yes i remember that's one that's one um space, space one but do you mm. know how to know if it's there or not Can no I, I don't know you go to home yes. and you put on the para we call it the paragraph marker remember okay. the paragraph marker will not print darlings okay it will okay. be there it's not like the header that appears and it, it will print this if i go to file print you won't see it there. Can you see you don't see no paragraph markers? It yes. is something to get used to because if you're a perfectionist like myself, you feel like there's a spider <laughs> web all over the place. Okay. <laughs> if I can if I can give you advice, I will tell you to please try to use this because then you okay. can easily see, like there, for instance, there's some two. There shouldn't be two, there should be one. Now, how do you interpret um, something like that? Are you still one? I don't know. No, we are two. Oh, we are two. Okay, you are. <laughs> okay, now I'm just asking, are you on? Because I heard a thing and I thought I dropped the line. Okay. Anyway. No, I'm no, going, no. I'm going to quickly try to explain to you Um uh with with shapes quickly sorry i'm just quickly want to explain to you because this is very important mm. to understand this okay and i know most people don't sorry but some lecturers don't even understand this uh, as well <laughs> so i'm going to explain this to you okay sometimes you get this now this can you see i made a bigger one that that's appearing there i'm just going to take that off for now can you see that is that can you see that? Yes. Okay. Now, sometimes there is a, there's a third one. Okay. There's a third line there. It will always look like this. It will just, the lines will, um, will differ. Yes. Now, I want to, you to understand, you don't count the line students. You count the spaces. So that okay. is a spice. I wish I could do it better for you, but I don't have a pen now to show you. Maybe I should go to paint. But anyway, that spice there, can you see the top line? It's one spice, yeah. the second spice. The okay. They sometimes make the mistake of counting the lines. That is not correct. You must count the spices. Okay? I think so I did I, that Wednesday. Sorry? I think I did that Wednesday. I counted the lines instead of the space. I know, I know, but you know what? The people don't tell you that. So that, which was represented now, you can't see the second one now, but if can you see that is represented by that? Can you see that, darlings? Yes. There's three lines, yes. so there must be only two spaces. There is yes. only one line, so there must be only one paragraph. You cannot see it without this thing that we call it the paragraph marker. Are you comfortable with that? Yes. Okay, so let's carry on. I'm going to go back to my editing and I'm going to put on the paragraph marker so I can show you. There is one, there is one, there is one. So all is good. If they said there should only be one, then you must take one out. Okay. Okay. You must yes. backspace because you lose okay. the box for that. And uh, can I just also come in there? Yes, today I was just um uh, today I was struggling with that because I uh, did um and and what about this the 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 the, the two um spacing? So what I did I forgot about that more that marker to say how much space. Yeah. So then I just go every time I'm I'm going back. And then I just say put in space, space, so that I know that it was it must be two okay. spaces between okay. the the paragraphs that I was doing. Okay, but and now I know about this one. Okay, but can you can I quickly can I quickly just tell you why that method is completely wrong? Can I quickly show you quickly, Lucia? Yes, I, promise, I promise you, 
I promise you they're going to do this because I'm also an examiner. I know that's what we do. Look here. They're going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to show you quickly. They are sneaky, sneaky. They are going to ask you to do this. They're going to tell you, change that to 27. Ne? And then uh -huh. now you are going to put in, okay, let's say um, it happens. I don't know how to give you an example, but it happens that that's also now a 27. Now look there. You don't have your paragraph marker. Ne? Uh -huh. Now you say, wait, uh -huh. yeah, that's almost 7 years so. uh -uh, Let's take it. Okay, that's okay. Then you go back. Now, okay, my, mine has changed it now because I backspace. But can you see uh, how that big space is actually one paragraph, oh. but it is represented as two? So by luck, uh, by luck, but can you see there between SI and the first, it looks like there's a space, but there yes. isn't. The reason yeah. why it looks mm -hmm. like there's a space is because there was a paragraph in between there. Can you see? Okay. So that's yes. why I'm not trying to, to, to diss you now and say, you know, what you are doing is wrong. I just want to teach you the correct way. Otherwise, you oh, struggle. Fine. Okay, are you with me, darling? Yes. I'm yes. with you now. I'm with you. Okay, so please remember to count the spaces and not the lines. Okay, I'm taking that off. Okay, we'll do that. Now, we've done this already. We've changed it to two centimeter and justify like a newspaper. Now, mm. this is also a very, fam or I'd say familiar, a favorite of the people to ask. It's called the transverse, T-R-S. Now, transverse means you are What does it mean? Okay, I'm explaining now. It means you are changing the word order of the sentence. Can you see there's also a one, a three, okay. and a two? Can you see that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to yes. take this thing away, but it will be it will be illustrated like that. Okay, let me rather leave it. Okay, you will obviously not have this. Yours will look like um, that. Okay. Then you will have to do this. You'll have to say this word must go first. So you're going to right click and cut. First. And paste it in front. Okay. Then the I'm second okay. word. Okay. Now I've obviously messed it up, but the second word should have been market, which it is now, and tablet. So basically, you just had to now change. If I can just control Z quickly, you have to change one and two. Can you see that? So the sentence yes. is reading, however, yes. market the tablet. The sentence should read, however. The market tablet shrunk. Or market you tablet. Yes. Okay, again? Yes, yes, okay, I'm so, with you. So that is when you need to transverse the word order, okay? So you will literally go, if I can just yes. show you on your normal one that doesn't have the transcript, Um, you will literally go, I don't know where it is, didn't I type it in? The data shows however he saw. The must be cut and it must be... Market. Mm -hmm. Can you see the market. now the market? Oh, the market. The paragraph um uh, shows me there's also too many spaces there. Can you see? Although this mm -hmm. is this mm -hmm. is this mm -hmm. is justified, so it's gonna look funny. But there mm -hmm. should be two colleagues. There should be only one dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going back to the uh, to the mm -hmm. manuscript signs. Okay. Can Actually, I think. I don't recall that our practical manuscript had a one, two, three today with the transfer yeah. sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, there was only two words that were supposed to be to be flipped. If I if if I if I can say then it probably only did this. Let me just quickly show you. It didn't have that line and it only had like one step. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, it was the it was the complete sign without any yeah. numbering yeah you know what maybe we were just nice that year but but um, <laughs> it, okay basically what it means is it needs to you will summa read the sentence yeah, and see okay yeah, it it's funny though who was the examiner could you remember no no, no that was on the practice uh, on the practical today yeah but you should still have an examiner on that paper um, I didn't check I that. Can, okay, I just, can quickly check. No, no, no. It's, 
uh, that's fine. Don't stress. I just, just take note. There is more than one Van der Merwe. Please take note. I am J Van der Merwe. I'm not <laughs> M Van der Merwe. Please. I'm very, very strict about my name being on question papers. Okay. <laughs> so please. Okay, darlings. But you will want to find mine now because I'm out of that loop at the moment. Okay. Darlings, the next one says you must take that and make it UC, bold, underline, and center. Now, that's a lot of marks for very easy. Center. UC is uppercase. Okay? So, you literally... Uppercase. Uppercase, yeah. yeah. Uppercase, uppercase. So, you're going to literally go into... I don't know where that is now. Why mine doesn't have that. But I'm just somehow going to edit this. So you're going to highlight it. You're going to make it bold. It's already underlined. You're going to center it. Okay. Um, and you're going to make it uppercase. Okay. Whoa, okay. You know, okay. Yeah, that one is in the, in, in the way. Okay. Are you with me, darlings? So it's yes. very easy. Please yes, mark each little one with a pencil because... Yeah. You're going to miss out on one of them. I promise you, if you're not going to mark it. Okay. Now, this, for some okay. reason, you struggle with this. And I don't think you had enough time. Do you know tab stops? Are you, are you comfortable with using it? No. Okay. Now, let's, let's, let's start with, with doing this. They say, say you might enter... Um, I just want to see why I don't have those stuff. I must copy all of it. Why don't can, I? Can I? Can I please say something? There's something bothering me about the, yes. the manuscript. Yes, ask me. You copied the heading to be at the bottom as well. No. But, but at the but at the heading, it says South Africa, and there it says SA. Yeah. Okay, well done. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, remember, I did find and replace before I copied that. That's actually, yeah. that is actually a very, very good um, thing you are saying now. They won't let you lose a mark because they will take into account that this was done afterwards, if you understand what I'm okay. saying. Okay, but that's the reason. Okay. Okay. Are you are you okay with that answer? Yes, it's it's okay. only the OCD. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Now that's all fine. Oh, that's all fine. I can change it if you would if it will make you feel better, or we can just take it out. No, it's fine. Okay. But do you understand why it's not in there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, what I just don't understand is where is all of this of me? I don't know what because. Uh, I think maybe <laughs> it literally says this and then I saved it. Um, now they, oh, okay, they probably want you to type this stuff in. Okay, so we will do that. They say you must insert text. Okay, your insert text. Can you see you have to type? Now listen, darlings, yes. you must make sure you type in your text correctly. You will lose marks for spelling mistakes. It is a lot of marks to lose. So type in... Cool. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm going to quickly just show you tab stops before we do this exercise. Okay, so let's start. Okay. There. It's going to take this out because this makes me crazy as well. Okay, so <laughs> where do I find tab stops, darlings? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. No, yeah. I don't know. Okay, it's fine. That's why I'm here. You go to paragraphs and you go to tabs. Okay. Now, remember, okay. your first tab will always start at the left part of your page. Okay, so you're not going to stress about that. Now, if I can just quickly take you to, oh, God. Uh, to, to oh, the paragraph. Sorry? Hello? No, it's fine. You can okay. speak. Okay. It's fine. Okay. So, they say that you need to put those tab stops in. Okay, so I have the question paper in front of me. I'm just going to quickly let you scan through it your eyes so that you can see what I'm putting in. Okay, so they want one at 3.5. Don't go and even read that. That is there just to confuse you. Okay, 
with so much draw a line through it if you are having they are probably going to do that because they want to confuse you we don't work in inches okay we don't work in inches we work in centimeters we don't live in america okay okay and your computer is calibrated so forget about that all right okay just focus okay. on that. So quickly just memorize that in your head. It's a 3.8, a 5.71, etc. Okay? So I'm going to quickly yes. go and say now you obviously don't have to memorize, memorize it, but just so you know where I go. <laughs> okay. Make sure before you put in your tabs that your cursor is at the correct place. Because otherwise it's going to sum up put the tabs in, in between your other text. So you go to okay. the paragraph, you go to your tabs, you say your first tab stop is obviously going to be at zero, so you're not going to do anything about that, and then you're going to say 3.18. But now, darlings, you never change that. You leave it. The default tab. Right? Okay? But you can't okay. just come and now go to the next one. You have to say set. Okay. Okay. Then you delete that top part and you set your second one at 5.71 and you say set. Okay, set. Okay. Then you go and you take that out again. There's a third one at 7.62 and you say set. Yes. And you delete okay. that one. And then the fourth one is at 11.43. Uh, now let's say, I'm going to show you that, that options now. But don't stress about it now. Just remember to set the last one as well. And then you say, okay, okay. Now, your rubric okay, so. comes into play very well here. There must be a left tab, another tab, another tab, and another tab. Don't worry about center, left, right, what, what. Okay. You just leave everything as is. Let's say you don't see your ruler there. It might happen. Okay. Then you go to um, your view and you choose your ruler to go on. Okay, just, just it's okay. good to know, okay? Because now you know in that line, look, if I go to the other line, there's no tabs there, it, which is correct because okay. I put my tabs there, okay? Okay. So let's say I've entered in now. What I don't like is they've asked you now for a stupid margin and now you've got this thing going. But anyway, they ask you to now type in um, the menu. So I'm going to say manufacture. Okay. Okay. Let's just yes. meet it. Now, the next one, let me just take you quickly back to the question paper that you see what I'm trying to do. The next one okay. is in a next column almost, if I can say it like that. A next yes. column, a next column, a next column. Uh, so that yes. one is at 3.8, that one is at 5, that one is at 7, and that one is 7, and that one is at 11. Yes. Now, there was a mistake in this question paper, I remember now, but don't stress about it. it I will tell you now. <laughs> you all have to now go and say, I'm going to just, um, I'm just going to do something that you shouldn't do tomorrow. Otherwise, our tab stops is not going to fit in. How do I go okay. from my first one to my second one? I press my tab. Okay. okay. And you see now it's literally just under that one. Are you with me? Okay? Yes. Now the second, yes, the, yes. The second one, I'm not going to go back now. I have the question paper in front of me is model. Then you press tab again and you say form. You don't stress about where it is and if it looks funny. You've put in your tab stop at the correct place. So you don't just go on. You just do your thing. And then again tab. Okay? And then it's called the um, release. And then the fourth one is the units. I'm not going to type out the whole thing for the sake of time. Now, you will see, okay. you go back to your question paper. Okay, that is how it looks. That is your almost like your headings. And then okay. that there must be a single space. Can you see the paragraph marker? And yes. then you must start off with typing. Now, can you see it says there, 
there is a little thing and then there's that little manuscript sign. Do you know what that okay. manuscript sign means? I think okay. that's the lead. Yes, you must take it out. Now, when I didn't know okay. the manuscripts of my heart, I thought you literally had to go and put, because that was a strike through. So I typed it. Okay. Because if somebody don't tell you, how would you know? So you literally just ignore that. Because you are, remember, you are inserting the text. You are in control. But let's say this was already there. And you had to, it was typed in for you. And there was a little delete one. Then you would have done this. Yeah, you wow. understand? Okay. Okay. Is your mate mine? Okay. Yeah, you can. Okay. One of your clients now, Baya Anders. The woman is sorry. As Likeran, but as a Likeran, but I pray. Okay. Nokia. Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Nokia is the manufacturer. Then I'm going to press sign. The model is 520. Again, tap each time a tap. It has a bar form. Um, and then it is released in 2009. And again, tap. And it's still. Okay. Can you see to go from there to the next line? I just press enter. So then you're going to, I'm just going to make okay. up something. Yeah, and then that, can you see? It literally yes. sits under each other. Okay, but this is very important now for me. If you go back to the question paper, where you know, the brush and microphone is on. Darling, is someone, someone that's talking, I don't mind you talking, but it sounds very funny. So if you're talking with your Tommy, just put out your microphone, please. Thank you. Okay. So sometimes what I do is, and this is very important, they ask you to do the, the headings okay. in the underline. Now look what's going to happen. This shouldn't happen. So whenever you work in tabs, you unfortunately have to go and do this. You have to now mark each one and, and go. And I can't even now do that one because it's over two lines. Can you see what I'm doing, darlings? Yes. You have to individually go. You can't do that because our looks what's going to happen. That's not uh, going to lose a mark. Uh. They like asking you that. They didn't ask in this question paper. I'm just saying. What does that D DS mean? Do you know? I don't know. Uh -uh. Double spicing. I don't know. Double spicing. So you're going to... Okay. Oh. So you're going to mark that whole thing. You're going to go to that. You're going to go either to two because that's double spicing or you're going to go to paradise. Okay. Double. Okay. That's, okay, that's okay. Okay, so that's about that. And then we are now busy. We are carrying on. Let's carry quickly see. That must be coming uh, stand 16 point uppercase bolt and center. Okay, so that must be. Okay. Okay, comic sans. What does comic sans for? It, no, no, I just cut oh. the font. Ne? Okay, okay. It's a it's a very valid question because oh, oh, oh. <laughs> donkey. <laughs> when I was when I was in high school, this was my favorite one, but it's not anymore. This is my favorite, the ink free. I love that. But anyway, it's just to to make it a bit interesting for you. Okay, six <laughs> point. So you must also change it to sixteen point. That is sixteen point. It must and be it needs to be upper. You see, yeah. okay, oopsie, that is not right. Upper, okay, ah, you know, no more, come grouter, see, you know. Uh-huh. Okay, like a lago, you know. Upper, okay. Bolt and center. Yeah. Mark each of that. Okay, that is now a, a shape that's white going. Okay, so all is done. Make sure when you put in your paragraph, there is two now. There should only be one. I'm some editing on this, okay? Mm. That mm -hmm. must okay. be... Okay, now look here. This is very confusing. I even find it confusing. Can you see there's a little info there that stands there? It looks like yes. you can't even see it. Yes. And there in the middle of nowhere, there's a line. Hello. 
Okay. Yes. Now, yes. Mind you. Now, nobody said this to me when I was a student, so I'm trying to help you now. That means you must write that thing out in full. So it must say first. Okay? Okay. Now, yes. Now, normally, the line is only there to show you, so don't put the line there. Just type the thing out as first. They like doing that. They will sometimes say, let's say, for instance, the age of somebody is, um, uh, let's say, 21. Then they will also do the same. They will say 21 in full. Then okay. What the hell in full? In full cream, what is going on? Then you must know, <laughs> you must type out the words of the number. Words. I hope that they don't give you a, a horror one like 133 because then there's some mistake, a spelling mistake as well. Okay. Yes, that's so, true. Darlings, we have a DS again. It's nice revision. What is DS? It's double. It's double. Two, two point. point. Yes. Okay. So yes. You can either do it by the shortcut or you can go by paragraph setting and choose double. Okay. Can you see yes. have a what here? I want to. I want to see if I've taught you anything in the last of one and a half hour. What is that? <laughs> uh, that's delete. Yes, it looks like a Q, the little lead sign. So you must take this out. It shouldn't be there. Okay. Can you see now, this is where the paragraph marker comes into play. You must know that doesn't look nice. You must take it out. That it yes. looks nice. Uh -huh. okay. There must be a page break. Okay. Breaker. So what you're going to do is you're going to literally put your cursor there where they want the page break. Okay, so okay. there in that line and go into, you can either say insert page break or it's also uh -huh. under page layout. You're going to choose page, page and, break. and bombs your uncle. Again, with mm -hmm. paragraph marker that appears. Remember, this was put in as a as text, so that shouldn't actually. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take it out so that one confuse you. Know? Mm -hmm. Ah, you know. Okay, are you with me, darlings? Yes. Okay, now they say here, leave two letter spaces. Uh, what is going on here? Of the paragraph numbers and indent sort the paragraphs numerically. Where are we now? Or the, did they even give us the paragraphs? Insert two columns, paragraphs one and two, column one. What? Oh, okay, I see now what they say. Sometimes this is very difficult. To understand okay let's just take that off okay so you are good with what's going on there okay that yes is, can you see now they are actually asking you here a little thing within the with i just want to take this off yes that is better okay i think this was supposed okay to be there. just gonna quickly look at my print out because that's gonna show me what's going on okay Okay, yes, they want you to make all of these uppercase and bold. So please make everything. Now, I can show you a shortcut, but yeah, let's rather not do that. Okay, let's just quickly mark everything. Okay, that S must also be. Okay, but you can do this. This is, this is easy stuff. Uppercase and bold. Okay, are you with me, darlings? Hello? Yes. Are you still there? Yes. yes. Okay. So notebook and tablets must all be uppercase and bold. Okay. So I'm not. I'm just gonna for now um leave that up to you. Again, can you see there is a space? There is too many spaces. There it should only be one. Can you see yes. this? Okay. I'm just showing you, but I think you by now you can see that how it should look. Okay. Now they say leave two letter spaces after a paragraph, numbers, and indent. Okay, now basically what they want is they want all of this paragraphs to be, um, to be, they've already numbered for you, so they want this number three to be sorted. Okay, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Um. I actually just quickly want to ask my partner something because I know they used to say cut and then you must paste it there. But I just want to make sure that, okay, so just hold on your horses. I'm going to just ask him quickly. But, but while we are waiting for him to come, 
I just quickly want to show you, this is very important. I say insert two columns, paragraph one and two in column one and paragraph three in column two. Okay. Now that has, um, that, that should be this. This is referring to that. Okay. I'm, I'm going to show you now. I'm just quickly going to ask him. The, the numerically, ne? As you, uh, as hulle die paragraaf in numerically, can hulle dit maar net cut en doorgaan paist of moet hulle die, die soort gebruik? Nee, cut en paist is nie makkelijk. Is dit, so gaan nie nou soort vir hulle wees. Ok, ok, okay. dankie. Ok, he says that is easier as well just to cut and paste. There is a sort option, but oor gona, if you get it wrong, then yo, it's havoc. Ok. Yeah, and he says control Z. Just remember, um, life doesn't have control Z. Ne? If it is done, it's done. You know what is control Z? No. Well, okay, then you that's why you're not laughing. Control Z means you undo <laughs> the, you 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 undo <laughs> your previous step. I've wished I had control Z many times in my life before. Okay. So anyway, that's the shortcut. You must know that because it will save your life. Okay, control Z. Ne? Now let's quickly, okay, so can you see what I've done? I've changed it to, to, to do um, exactly what I asked. I've sorted and they say the letters must be indented. So you will mark that and you will go into, your, into that and you will make sure that it's indented at the correct place. But I still go and do it in the indentation. So they say two spaces. Now I, yeah, that's always so difficult because I don't like to use the ruler, but you will see that there is two spaces. Can you see one, mm -hmm. two spaces already? Okay, so it's done. So you don't really, I don't know why they're asking you that because it's already done. Okay, but, um, yeah, there, there's not really a lot to do with um, in N4 with numbering, except I like sometimes to ask of you. I'm just quickly going to show you something while I think of it. They like asking you, um, for instance, uh, let me just quickly open up something for you. By the way, I think your brains are probably fried. So I'm going to end off with Word and then we will schedule an Excel. Do you think that's going to work better? Yes. Nay, nee. is that okay with yes. you? Okay, I will, yes. talk, okay, I will talk to you again. <laughs> okay, but let me just finish <laughs> off, eh? Don't leave me now. Okay, I'm just quickly going to show you here. Um, this was a test I also did. I asked them to put in here, they had to put in bullets, but it had to be a picture bullet. Okay, they like all yes, we had that today. <laughs> uh, okay, wonderful. Did you was this your practical? Yes, me and Mandy. Not, 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 not the same text, text, but, but the I made bullet I left I left my a quad mark. This was my test, I can't just take mine anyway. Um, you're gonna go to bullets. They love asking this. Okay, now I you can see if I use cars a lot. So that was the one that I was looking for, but it's not gonna be in your default browser because you're not gonna use a car. So you're gonna go yeah. to define new bullet and you're gonna go to um not to picture, except if they've uploaded a picture for you in your exam drive, then you can go there, okay. But normally in, in four, they ask you for a symbol. And they normally ask you for a funny thing like a spider web or a cat or a phone. Then you go to web things. Okay, go my down and look for W. Not windings, web things. There's all the funny stuff. Then sorry, but you must my now look for it. Um, there's an island, there's a spider. I've used this once when I did Spider-Man. I had that. Um, I remember when I was there, they asked for a cat or there was a dog, that one. They asked for that one. So then you just literally say, look, there's a globe as well. There's quite nice ones. Then you say, okay, you want that one? And you say, okay, and Bob's your uncle. Can you see? Yes. And yeah. then I don't want to edit that because it's difficult, but I'm just going to show you. If ever you are busy with yours and you want that thing, I'm just showing you a personal thing now, and you want it to be underneath your, 
your text. The easiest way to get that is just to make your left indentation a zero as well. Okay. Okay. Just uh, that's just a personal thing. I know I I always struggled with that, so I'm just sharing my a uh, little bit of knowledge with you. Okay, so that's that. Um. Okay, let's quickly just finish off this last part of the question paper. Um, okay, so that okay, I'm so glad they are asking for uh, for this for the column. Okay, so those two, uh, those two are then referring to the one year. It says change to one column. Okay, but it is in one column, so I don't really understand. But I want um, okay, they are asking for um, this two to go into a paragraph now i'm just going to delete all of this because it's going to create a bit of i'm just okay let me just quickly tell you what this is do you know sp hello no okay it's it's no. a, a manuscript for spelling and it refers to the thing oh. that underlined so you you're just gonna right click and then you're going to just read the sentence before you sum it choose. It says notebooks experience, da, 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 with the, it's not going to be a round. It probably must be a mound. So just choose the code. Okay. Okay. So SP stands. Okay. For, so it's actually an easy mark because you're just going to right click and you're going to choose the, the relevant one. Just read the sentence one. before you choose. Okay. Okay. then. Okay. So I'm just quickly going to put, this is the last thing I'm going to show you. You're going to put these two in a column. Okay, now the first thing okay. you do is that you need to mark the parts that needs to go into a column. Then you will go to page layout and you will columns. choose two columns. Okay, yeah. now let's say, um, I want to show you quickly something that's going to happen. Let's say, Mm. This okay, y'all. You know what I'm trying to do. Mine actually mm -hmm. did it now nicely, okay. But I'm quickly gonna show you something that is not so nice, okay. I'm gonna put these two okay. in these columns, and they want the second column to start there. They want this now to go that side. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So you must cut this basically. So what, how do you do that? What are we working in now? We're working in columns. You're going to go to page layout and you're going to go to breaks. Remember, we put in a page break, mm -hmm. but now we're in a column. Uh -huh. So can you see now it is correctly done? Okay. Can you see what I've done? They will tell you Just they want that specific one to start off. Then you put it there. Let's say... Your, so let, your marker. Sorry? So you need to put in your 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 thingy there. Your, your okay. Let's say, let's say smartphone <laughs> must go to the right. Then you will put it there, and you will say okay. break, and you will say column and Bob's your uncle. Let's say you want okay. that to go back. Then you put the cursor. It's like a scissor. Okay. So it's like a okay. Understand. But you understand what I'm doing now. So yes. You yes. Have to put that in. Okay. Darlings, but then they also ask you most of the time um, that there must be a line in between. So, Mike, yes. can you see it says justification? So, you go to home, you justify it, and then mm -hmm. you go to page layout, you say columns, you say more columns, and you choose that line between. And line between. Mm. I understand okay. that one. So, that is yes. That. And then just make sure that if they ask you for uppercase, bold, center, et cetera, then that is it. Yes. You will see now the yes. spreadsheet will start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send before you drop, and I'm I'm just quickly going to see if I can put on my video now. I know I had, um, I had so much trouble with that. Um, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen now. Um, no, it still doesn't. I'm so sorry, but most of you saw me today. But anyway, um, before I okay. let you go, I just quickly want to um, to tell you that I'm going to send you this exact same one um, so that you can do for me okay. the Excel questions. Okay, try to do it on your own. Okay. So when we have a meeting again, okay. then it, it's mm -hmm. easier for you just to join mm -hmm. into conversation and, and whatever. Yeah. Okay, 
So yes, um, yes, Marlena, yes. I'm also going to send you um, one or two or more question papers. You don't have to do everything, but if you have time, go through it because that's the reason why it's called computer practice. You need to practice. Um. And, then, <laughs> and then I would, I would advise you to then, while you are busy with those extra ones I'm sending to you, please then make notes on what you want to ask me. You can either ask me privately on, on the group. But now, students, okay. before you leave, I would just like to also uh, just say this one last thing before I say good night. And I want to, re I'm recording this so that the others hopefully also listen. We unfortunately need to use that uh, student hub. Okay? So okay. The, the portal is there. Um, unfortunately, I have to use it. Otherwise, um, they either need to see that it's working or not working. So we have to try okay. to show them, hey, this isn't working, but we have to give it a try. So I would okay. like you to either WhatsApp me and tell me, uh, Mrs. Van Amarva, I'm online quickly, just talk to me and then we'll see. If we have trouble, then we'll go okay. over to WhatsApp again. Okay. So okay. if the okay. student have a try, I will be on there at least at least two hours during a day. It will be my okay. I'm not gonna give a certain time because I'm also busy during the day. I'm a teacher. So, but I will get back to you with that day. So leave me a message on there, um, pop me a post, whatever, and then if I don't respond within 48 hours, then send me a WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, my darlings. Thank you so much for keeping up with me. I hope that you did learn something. I and really did. It just was very nice. Okay. It I'm was glad. really, very nice. I'm so glad. Yeah. I, will then, I will then wait to hear from you, and then I will send you this recording. Thanks so much for joining the meeting. And thank you. Thank okay. you. That's all. Okay, good. you must just give us the time then tomorrow. With we will, what time we will be right. doing the Excel sheet? Okay, let's let's speak on WhatsApp and confirm. Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.